Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to create a simple PDF report using QF template engine. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create paper format in QF report and what is it and how to implement in Odoo, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist here. Under this Odoo development, you can see various types of playlists available with different topics with real task cases. If you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and you can send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, right? And we have some social media pages. You make sure you can follow those ones and subscribe this channel also. And if you want to support this channel using Buy Me Coffee or PayPal or using the join button here. Let's back to our main topic like how to create a simple PDF report. Last time we already saw different task cases in the QF template engine how to generate a PDF report with different topics, right? And let's say this is your first session about QF report. You can visit this playlist, especially this Odoo QF PDF report tutorial. Over here, I already explained what is QF report, how to generate a PDF report. What is the T tag here like T dash fields, T dash ESC, T dash out and after how to implement conditional statements or looping statements or like let's say how to declare a variable right then after how to call different QF templates from parent to child templates then after how to change dynamic attributes for the specific tag how to inherit the existing template I mean how to inherit the existing QM report and what is paper format. That one is our last session about QM report here, this one. So make sure you can visit all these discussion and then after you can jump to this discussion. So it would be very easy to understand this topic, right? So here in this discussion, we will create a simple card of the specific student here so for that we already created our new module which is qf pdf report example right under the report we already created a two different xml template now i'm trying to create another qf template let's say student card template dot xml file and here I will try to use like Odoo as a main tag here and then after the template tag here, right for that like we have to always use here the unique ID of the specific template unique like student card PDF report let's say template report all right and here we have to create a one action the report action here like this let's complete this template part and then after we will focus on the report action here so last time we already saw the external layout right to print a pdf report now we will use like without header and footer part right another layout which is called a basic layout so for that we have to call using this t tag t tag call like this then after in a double quote we have to use the web basic layout if you remember i already explained different types of layouts available in the web module right so if you don't know you can visit that tutorial also and then after we have to use here like the for each loop as right and here the variable name should be the student and here the variable should be the doc this is predefined right and here let me add here one div tag right oh sorry so for that like we will use here a one more div tag class equal to page so this is very compulsory to print 
each and if you want to print the content or let's say you want to add images right so for that we have to must add this class as a page under that page we have to add anything otherwise it won't be print all right so now like let's say i will do something like this div class in a div i will use a table uh, let me add here one bootstrap class like call md6 here and uh, let's say here i will use td tag oh sorry not td tr tag under the tr tag i will use here like we have to display one image of the student so for that like image then after src and here alt so this is our image and student image let me add something like this and let me confirm the field name okay so this is our model name here and our so we have to add the image right so for that like we have to add here let's say image underscore data is a method we have to call here right oh sorry not like uri then after student dot student underscore img this field we have to mention here all right and before that like let me add here one if condition what if this image is available then this image tag will execute otherwise it won't be execute or display this image so you will i don't worry i already explained this one the conditional part and the att attributes level tag so please check all the session before you will start this start to develop this you have default all right so for that we have to use here a t t dash like this now like let's say i will add one more t tag here and here like i will add one more table table p r t h and here i will provide some information about the student let's say mm, let's say t t dash t s c right student dot name t h t dash t s c student dot school underscore id dot name school underscore id you can see here this is a many to one field of the school profile so if we want to display the school name we have to display like this here and th p dash esc and student roll number we have to pass here those roll underscore number all right so this is our simple qf template ready now we have to assign this ID this template ID to the specific report action. So for that we have to use here a small action. So for that, like IR actions dot report. If you remember, we already created a Windows actions right for to display different types of views. So same like if you want to register the report, the specific report, right? So for that we have to use assign that report under this report action school student profile card report like this field name equal to name and here let's say student card print and here we have to mention the model name so model name should be the school dot student right and here we have to use report underscore type and it should be a qf dash pdf always and uh, here 
like we have to use the name the pdf name the report underscore name and report underscore file should be this name and here we have to mention this module name also before like the first is the module name dot and the template id here like this way and then after like let's say what is the report name right while you generate a report so what is the report name so for that like we can add here in a single code like student card and here like let's say we have to bind this report to the specific model right uh, specific model means this school underscore student here we have to display in a list view as well as in the form view so for that we have to use here a new binding model name so for that we have to use ref this like let's say this module is available under the school underscore student module right and here we have to prefix as a mention compulsory we have to mention model underscore school underscore student right and this is a minute one field so we have to use like this and that's it and here we have to bind this type under the report action that's it and now this new xml file should be registered under this manifest file otherwise it won't be work all right so don't forget to this one in a manifest file we have to register and now simple what i will do i will upgrade this module using terminal so for that like i will do here only and if you don't know how to configure odoo with pycharm i already explained in the editor level playlist you can visit that session also and once i will upgrade this module or i mean i will restart this editor the service using this pycharm editor it will automatically start the Udo service and upgrade this module all right so now i am going to in browser trying to go to in student profile here you can see here the student card print is available right so once i will print this one you can see automatically print the statement the report right like this way now uh, you can see here this is not working as expected here right so let me add some more layout here like let me add here some styles all right so here the first thing is i will add here some style for the image so for the style like let's say max height should be like let's say 80 point then after max width is let's say 80 bt right and the main table should be the round bracket so you can see exit as a card layout so for that like let me add here style width should be 240 pt let's say height is 150 pt then after border is 1 pt solid black then after border collapse should be the separate right and let me add here the border radius radius here something like 8 pt and margin should be the 5 pt all right and now i'm trying to upgrade the module and i'm going to back to the student list view and i'm regenerating this report now you can see it will display something like this right Oops. 
selling this text. Now I'm going to back site and regenerate all this report. Now you can see. Right. So you can see here without header and footer part it it won't be display here in the basic layout and now for this layout you have to add you have to adjust the width and styles accordingly right so based on that like it will automatically print the exit output so don't depend on this one just use this qf template as a reference for right so in this discussion we already discussed how to create a simple report right so this is our xml template this is our report action here we have to register and in the manifest file we have to use we have to add we must have to add this xml file right that's it and the qweb report automatically generates and now in our next session how to print dynamic images or how to create a barcode in the pdf file we will see in our next session all right and in case you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session